how y'all doing, honey? We got some tea to talk about. You ain't gonna believe this. Miss Tammy, yeah, waka faka wife. <laughs> honey, she's begging for a threesome. Yes, honey, she is begging to be with another woman, okay? I don't know what the fuss is about, but guess what? We do have audio recording stuff. She's talking to Angela from the Beck Breakfast Club, and it's some other girls. They are talking about um, Tammy Beg and Waka. She want to do a threesome with another woman. She said, you know what? It's so unfair. I've been begging his ass for years, okay? She want to eat some sweet potato pie, all right? And she don't want to cheat on him. But she want to eat, she want to show him how she can get down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, I guess they're going to have a goddamn contest who can eat it up real quick. I don't know. And you know what? I'm like, okay, do she want to see how he get down? Like, I'm like, do you really want to see how Waka is drilling these hoes? Because she may get kind of jealous. I mean, maybe he realized that you ain't going to be able to handle that because how he going to be trashing them hoes and he's going to be so into it. <laughs> Tammy going to be like, you ain't never did me like that, you know? She going to get jealous, girl. But we're going to talk about that, okay, in this clip. And we also going to talk about fans only. So it's starting to be a big topic because Safari and this other rapper, his name is Casanova. Girl, they got a fans only, okay? So I guess they... Listen, ain't no more government pickles, all right? They, they, these are supreme government pickles, all right? So, um, Casanova, he said, listen, if you want some cheap pickles, you better go Safari. Safari is saying, you know what, Casanova, that thing is overpriced. I'm like, how you know, nigga? How you know, nigga? What's going on here? All right. But, um, yeah, honey, we're going to talk about that in this video, okay? So we're going to have a good old time. I just want to say thank y'all so much for the love and support. Let's keep them coming. And if it's your first time on Gossip Girl XOXO, girl, you in for a treat, okay? Because we gossip over here. We have a good time. We upload two to three times daily. We always posting in the community tab, so go check that out. We post what celebrities all types of stuff, honey. We be dragging and uplifting at the same damn time. You don't want to miss it, okay? And a big shout out to the Gossip Gang member, Brandon Hicks. I see you. You've been spotted. Yes, honey. You've been spotted, Brandon Hicks. All right. So, yeah, if you want a shout out, baby, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click that notification bell and make sure you comment on the first, you know, be one of the first comments on the video, always comment. And baby, I'm going to spot you out because I'm going to let you know I see you and I appreciate you. All right. Appreciate all y'all. All right. So let's get on to it. So Tammy, you guys know the situation with Tammy and Waka Flocka. Okay. Now, Tammy is always getting dogged out by Waka. He always stay cheating on her. You know, she's beautiful. She got a banging body, but she's like a submissive type of girl. Like, she don't question nothing. She be very gullible. I mean, what was that? They was on marriage boot camp, girl, and what he said was her was so disgusting. He said, the reason why I cheat, I cheat to make your ass a better person. He said, me going out digging on these hoes, um, it made you stronger, Tammy, because you was very naive and you was gullible and you was a pushover. But now you question shit. You know, you got a backbone about yourself. And he said it was all for me uh, digging out these other hoes. All right. All right. And I guess he likes that that she's more respectful. And the way I see it, I think um, she, I don't know, I think she still got a lot of working to do considering she begging her man for a damn threesome. But I think it comes to self-respect. And it seemed like Waka, he appreciates a woman with self-respect. And if... You know, you allow this man to walk all over you. It just shows you don't have self-respect for your damn self. You know, if you're so gullible to the point where he fucking the goddamn bathroom and you don't even realize it, it's like, wake the hell up, okay? You know, he wants somebody that's aware. He wants somebody that, I guess, going to check him. Maybe he wants a mother. You know, that's what it sounds like. He's not responsible 
to stop himself and be a man and just be like, I'm going to be faithful and I'm, you know, not going to hurt her. I'm not going to torment her to try to teach her ass a lesson. Um, Cause you know, Debbie, that's his mom. I'm assuming, you know, she's kind of strict, you know? And I think maybe he wants, he wants them personality traits in his wife, you know, cause it seems like Debbie ain't gonna play no games. Debbie's gonna call you out. If she think that you mistreating her or disrespecting her, oh, she gonna call you out. But Tammy, it looked like she, she would just be all quiet and play naive. Girl, she talking about she don't even know what the OnlyFans page is. Y'all gonna see it. So let me play uh, what they were talking about cause she's begging for a threesome. And we're going to talk about that afterwards. And then we're going to go to Safari video and uh, that man, Casanova. Now, they say both Safari and Casanova, they're both in a committed relationship. And now people are asking, how do you feel about if your man was on the only uh, fans? What y'all think about that? Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? Y'all mess with just going to have a big ass orgy. I mean, that's what y'all really want. Everybody for everybody. Y'all. Yeah. I mean, how y'all moving and grooving? Okay, so uh, let's play this. Check it out. Are you down for the threesome? If he would give me one, bitch, he won't give me one. <laughs> remember, <laughs> you don't remember she kind of hinted right. at wanting to do it before. Mm -hmm. It still hasn't happened. He's not down. Know. Not yet. <laughs> He's not sharing that booty. Sharing that and that's why I think it's so selfish. Because, <laughs> nigga, you done had your fun your whole career. You done had three or four bitches. You done had your whole little fun. And I've been at home being a good little white so do you, do you think you would feel different? Okay, hold on. We gonna, it's a part two, but did you guys hear what she said? She said, you had your fun. You had like three or four women that she know of. Because we all know it's more than that, but she just know it a three or the four. And I'm like, damn, girl, three to four times and you still there? I guess pretending to be a good wife with no self-respect and just allow this man to walk all over your ass. Because they say how he talks to her behind closed doors. It's a whole different party, honey, okay? They say she really deals with low self-esteem, but she doesn't show it. You know, she have to come out in the public like she confident she got it going on. And, you know, um, he restrict a lot of what he really want to say in the public because he know what's going on. And you know that mama be talking to him, but they sit behind closed doors, honey. It be something else over there. It really do. It be something else. But honey, she want a piece. I don't know if do you guys think that Tammy wants to do a threesome because she thinks that her husband want that. But how could her husband want that if he ain't asking for it? She's asking for it. He ain't begging for it. Or do you think she's one of those type of people where they want to do something that's not really who they are, but they feel like if I do it, then he going to really like me? And do you think she's still trying to prove herself, trying to make him love her more? Do you think that she feels like a void? He's not paying me enough attention. So, you know what? Maybe I, I need to, you know, get with the threesome deal so we can always have threesomes like Candy and Todd. <laughs> but I think Candy, she's really about the Rainbow Coalition. I think Candy, she really goes both ways. Tammy, I didn't know she was a part of the Rainbow Coalition, but girl, go ahead, show your rainbows, boo. All right? But um, I wonder, is this Tammy first time with another girl? Um, You guys know more about this girl than I do, you know? Is this her first time, you know? <laughs> uh, what do y'all think? Do you think that she really wants another girl do you think it's just her appetite do you think that she's doing it because he did it and it's more like you did that now nah, i want to do that that would get on my damn nerves okay you did it now nah, i want to do it you did it it's like are you serious are you serious what do y'all think about this i want to know i want to know what do you guys think tammy real reason behind wanting this threesome she do, is she doing it to please that man? Is she doing it because she really want to taste the rainbow? Is she doing it? Um, I mean, that's the only thing I think of. She really want to taste the rainbow or she's doing it to please Waka Flocka? You know? Hmm. I don't know. Do you think she want to make him jealous? I don't know. 
And do you think that she can really handle seeing Waka Flocka make love to another woman and another woman and another woman? And maybe Waka Flocka knows that Tammy is just too damn sensitive because they say the girl is a pushover and she's, you know naive to shit it seemed like she'll get her heart her feelings involved and um she will always replay you know waka doing it with another woman it seemed like that's gonna fuck her up even more she's already fucked up you know but it seemed like if he gave her that threesome with another woman she is gonna be fucked up even more that's just my thing and i think he's trying to protect her by not doing that I don't know. Comment. Let us know. Or do you guys think he's just being selfish? He just don't want anybody to, you know, mess with that booty? I don't know. Is it controlling? He want to be able to do what he want to do, but he don't want nothing or nobody. Maybe he doesn't want Tammy to see him in that light. You know, maybe he really do a whole bunch of freaky kinky shit. I'm sure he probably do a whole bunch of different stuff that he does not do with his wife and his wife never seen him do. So maybe it wouldn't really be that fun for him because he's just going to have to be real restricted and he's going to always have to worry about, Tammy, what you thinking? Are you okay? And he just want to have fun in the sun, girl. You know, I don't know. It's just so many variables. But let's go to that other clip, okay? Check this out. Hold on. Yeah, like, don't tell me about this in mind. You won't feed her. You don't clothe her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get into shit like that. But now it's a different one thing I don't like. I don't like for men to hit girls right well, whether yeah. it's their daughter or not like mm. i don't feel like that's a bad precedent child. yeah i don't feel like men should with it because i know some men like oh i spank my daughter but i just don't i feel like the mother should do that right because i feel like men don't know their strength too that kind of gives that pressure for a little girl like oh it's okay for a man to hit you right, right. yeah so i don't agree with that speaking of what it's okay for men to do right <laughs> we're talking about only fans a lot and how there's so many people going on OnlyFans, making their coins right now. Is it a problem, right, if your husband is following people on OnlyFans? You know, it's What's like, OnlyFans? Girl, you don't know? Uh-uh, bitch, help me. See what I'm talking about? She's so damn naive. Everybody and their mama know what's OnlyFans, and she stays on social media, but she has... I feel like she acting. She don't know what the F, F OnlyFans is, but she want to threesome, okay? Anyway, so they were saying, is it okay for your man to follow only fan pages? Shit, they watch damn porn. What's the damn difference? You allow that, don't you? You know, but I want to say, uh, Tammy, she also was talking about she don't feel like it's okay for men to spank uh, daughters or little girls. Comment, what do you guys think about that? You know, she feel like it's okay for the mom to do it, but for the father, it just teach the girls it's okay for a man to hit you. She feel like no matter what, no man should ever hit you, you know, hit on a girl. My thoughts about it. I feel like, and maybe y'all ain't gonna like me for this, and oh, effing well. I don't feel like kids should get whoopings. I don't, I'm not for spankings. I'm for communicating with your kid, you know, disciplining your child, but you don't have to put your hands on your child and you don't have to physically hurt them to get them to understand. I feel like, no, nah, I'm not with it, you know? Uh, shit, I was, look, I had to stay with my granny for a little bit and she had a goddamn switch. And I, I honestly feel like I was, I feel like I was physically abused, okay? I ain't going to lie, how she used to whoop me and how she used to whoop my cousins. Nah, that was abuse, you know, and she used to cuss while she's doing it. That was verbal and physical abuse. So I'm not with it. And then I was watching this TV show. Um, it's this, it's called Outer Beach. Y'all need to check it out. It's on Netflix. It's new. But it's this guy, all of the teenagers is raised by their father, and it's one teenager boy he's like 16 years old his father when i tell you beat the brakes off for him i mean punch him in his eye and his stomach like his father gets drunk and really go ham on his ass you know and um the boy he's messed up mentally you know and he's always violent and he's always getting into more drama and people would think well your father abused you like that maybe you'll be submissive or maybe You'll be nice, or maybe you'll be a good boy. 
Hell no, nah, he ain't no good boy. He is very hard-headed, and he's always getting the shit. He's always stealing and doing stuff with everybody else. And um, it is not going to stop. So somebody physically doing that to these kids, it's not, it's not going to stop them from being rebels, you know? That's just what I've seen. Hmm. But um, let's go to the Casanova situation. Y'all ready for that? I'm going to play some, some audio. Ladies. 2020, we're going through a hard time. I know what y'all going through. We all going through the same thing. That's why my only fairness is twenty dollars. I care about your pockets. You already know what I'm working with. Casting over telling y'all fifty dollars. Like, come on, man. Like, I care about the people. I care about what y'all go through. So, I say that to say this: make sure you sign up to my only fans. Listen, <laughs> y'all, just stop DMing me talking about. Yo, listen, $50 is too expensive for your OnlyFans. Go to Safari page, then he charging $10. Mm -hmm. This rich, I'm not playing with this. You want to see the $50? Mm -hmm. $50. Listen. <laughs> so you heard it, Casanova, selling that pickle for 50 Safari, you can go get a discount at 20 So, hey, have what you want. If you get feeling cold at night, I mean, I guess... Do what you do, you know. Um, this is the new generation, and that's just how it's going to happen. Look, I ain't saying nothing. Go ahead. You know, girls doing it. Guys, everybody got them doing it. Go get your only fan page. And um, hmm, that's all I got to say. But comment. Let us know what you guys think about all this. I want to see y'all gossip in these gossip comments, all right? And I'll see y'all sooner than later. Bye.